Let's create our first Insta filter for 2023. I call it the black and white intensify and let me apply it to this famous image so you can see its effect. Pretty amazing. I'm going to share the macro collection in the description, but let's go through the steps one by one. I think this is one of the most easiest things I have ever shown until now. We start by adding a curves adjustment by pressing command M. Ctrl M for windows. Next open up the blend ranges and make a roof. The final step for this curves adjustment is to set the blend mode to multiply and we are almost done. Select the curves adjustment and duplicate two more times by using the command or Ctrl J shortcut. To keep things a bit structured let's group them and give it a name. A quick look on the before and the after. Pretty awesome. Let's test it on a couple of other black and white images. I think the effect works quite well in most images as it brings down the mid-tones in a very smooth manner, resulting in a more contrasty image. Let's have a look what's happening exactly. With the help of a gradient and the intensity waveform, we can see the actual curve being applied. In theory, instead of these three curves, we could use a single curves adjustment. Let me make a screenshot of the current intensity panel and paste it on the document canvas. I will disable our group and add a new curves adjustment with command M or control M. Now let me try to replicate the curve from the intensity panel. As you notice, the way the curve editing in the curves adjustment works, it is quite difficult to get this nice smooth curve which was created by our group. But with a little bit of effort, you can come really close and as you can see, the end result is pretty similar. Let me disable the new curves adjustment and remove the intensity panel screenshot, so I can show you another advantage of having three curves adjustments. What I like to do is to modify the min-max values in the curves and really fine tune the effect. These changes will almost not be visible but they will make these tiny changes which as a result makes the effect smoother and gives you that extra control for fine tunement Another reason why I like this method is that you can play with the blend modes of each individual curve. For example, applying the subtract, multiply and the hard light blend mode gives a nice dark image where the whites are quite strong. These three curves also work nice with color images. And especially changing the blend mode works nice in color images. Let me apply the macro to this image, which you can see already creates a pretty nice effect. But changing the blend modes to color burn, subtract, and screen gives also a very nice effect. You can play around with the opacities of each curve Allowing for that extra fine tuning, but also changing the blend ranges can help you to get that perfect look. I can for example change the blend range of the last curve in screen blend mode to make the sky brighter. Here are a couple of additional examples with colored photos. Pretty awesome. I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching again. Until the next video.